So once you've finished double back stitching the back, you want to make sure that you leave all of this lace completely loose. Now we're going to go straight into the weaves. We don't want to touch the front of the lace yet. So one of the ways that you can sew is by putting the needle up. Make sure you're not grabbing too many holes in the net. A lot of people make mistakes by grabbing like this many and then by the time it's stitched, it's actually gonna be gaping and this is gonna cause your weed cap to get a lot smaller. So you really only, only want to be pulling about three to four holes in the net. So a lot of people say that the closer together you stitch the better, however I disagree. I personally think that as long as you're giving a good firm grip to the weft and you stitch about half an inch apart, I actually think it'll be flatter, it'll be less tension if you're sewing this on a customer's scalp and also it'll save you a lot of time and it will um, allow the weave to last a lot longer too. So once you're done with the unit then you want to turn it inside out and we're just going to be cutting off the excess lace. Just try and get as close as possible and take your time with this because if you cut it wrong then you might cut a hole in the actual lace frontal part and this is the part that we really want to make sure that we're keeping nice and new. So this is the unit after it's just completely finished and this is the cap construction that you have inside. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to try and make some elastic band to make sure that the lace frontal is sitting very secure. So once you've made the wig and you're actually going to be starting to work with the lace, you want to make sure that you are cutting this earpiece off. If you keep this earpiece, the positioning of the lace is just not going to be good. Um, I think the biggest mistake that a lot of people do with lace is that they don't understand the physics of it. We have a round head and we want the lace to actually sit around our head. So we're trying to make the lace go back um, and down. So that's why leaving this will not help. You want to actually cut it. And the guide that you can use is the ear tab um, on the lace. So when you're about to sew the elastic band onto the lace frontal, you want to make sure that you're burning the edges so it doesn't fray and the elastic band won't fall off. Thank 
See it's our eyes painted What's in the minds Try to look beyond your expectations It's a pretty face In a different light In a world of rage We are colorblind Ready for a change It's time to let go tonight We're still Love